Good morning. This is Pastor Tim Wells, pastor of Cross of Christ Lutheran Church in Aurora, Nebraska. Today I want to share the verse of the day from the Bible app that I have on my phone. This morning's verse comes from Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. Here the Apostle Paul writes, For I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. In the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God. Who loved me and gave himself for me. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. I'm going to ask some questions. And with each set of questions, I want you to take the time to think about those answers. If you need to pause this video, do that. First question I have for you today. What does it mean that you have been crucified with Christ? What part of you has been crucified? What part of you has been put to death? And if that part has been put to death, what does that mean for the way you live your life now? Take some time to reflect. All right, our next question I've been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. What does that mean? What does that look like for Christ to live in you? Take some time to reflect. And finally, I'm just going to assume the answer to that second question uh, involved a changed life in which you seek to better trust God, live out your faith, keep the commandments. Well, let's face it, that doesn't always happen. Our lives do not always reflect obedience to God. So when you sin, when you slip in your faith, what does it look like for Christ to live in you? I pray that your time reflecting on these questions was helpful and beneficial. I don't know what all conclusions you reached, what the Holy Spirit brought to your heart. But I would hope in all the thoughts you've had this morning, you would be reminded of Christ's love for you and his forgiveness. As Christ lives within you, even as you sin, even as you slip in your faith, you continue to be loved, you continue to be forgiven, you continue to be claimed as one of God's own precious dear children. That's what it looks like for Christ to live in you. You live a changed life, yes, but even when you fail to do so, you are loved and forgiven. Back to the end of the verse. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, trusting in His love and forgiveness, right? Who loved me and gave himself for me. May you live out your faith. May you live in your faith. And you, may you delight in the love and the forgiveness of Christ. Let's pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you that through your son's death, our own sinful nature has also been put to death with him. Lord, we also thank you that through your Son's resurrection, we also will be granted resurrection life in eternity. Lord, teach us to walk now in this newness of life, no longer our sinful nature walking and living, but Christ living within us. And when we sin, Lord, when we slip in our faith and fall short of your glory, teach us always, Lord, to trust in Christ and to live in his grace and receive his forgiveness. In your name we pray. Amen. I pray God's blessings on your day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Amen.